Ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to Glory's welterweight division, again about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, he is a two-division champion who turned pro in 2017 and arrives in Rotterdam on an eight-fight winning streak. His professional record, 17 wins with three losses. 12 of those 17 wins have come by way of knockout. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 155.1 pounds, 76.6 kilograms. Fighting out of Romania, ladies and gentlemen, it's Edward the Blitz Gafanku. Here now is his opponent standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner, a 2019 World Cup champion on a four fight winning streak of his own. His professional record, 22 wins, four losses, one draw, and nine career knockouts. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, he weighed in at 154.5 pounds, 76.3 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing Jagili Kamara. And your referee for this bout, Jan Franca. Fighters coming up. Okay, shake your hands if you want. Three rounds, three minutes. Glory rules. Listen my comments. Good luck. Back to the corners. Joe, this is like an international house of pancakes. We've got another. We've got Paris. <laughs> we've got France now versus Time. Romania. Our Put first fight was Croatia versus England. Here we go. Kamara in the black trunks. Gafenko in the white. Kofenko had a, a viral video doing a tornado kit from 2019, which is spectacular to see. I highly recommend you Google it. Yeah, we're, uh, voted on by many as the knockout of the year in kickboxing 2019. Oh, incredible. Yeah, I don't think the tornado kick is something you teach at bazooka shows, is it? <laughs> it takes what? like nine seconds to throw that kick. Well, sometimes with, if you have a taekwondo background, it's easy. Well, you're a black belt taekwondo. Yeah. Is that an easy kick for you? For me, yes, it is. One, two, three. Yeah, Gafenko also has some pro boxing experience. 3-0 and as a boxer, all finishes. Boy, you can see he puts everything into those punches. Yeah, Kamara playing a, a more defensive style fight, letting Gafenko work off of his guard a little bit, but watch these little quick knees he's gonna throw. It's coming soon. Gilly Kamara, a part-time paramedic, which always makes me say something like, if he hurts his opponent, he can resuscitate yeah, him. I was waiting for it. <laughs> there it is. Hey, and I mentioned September 9th in Paris. We're headed back. Glory 88. Return of Badr Hari taking on James McSweeney. Franco just loading up on his punches. Oh, nice Time. left there from Kamara, and it popped the mouthpiece of Gafenku out. Yeah, Gafenku's a power puncher. Wow. Good job at Kamara staying defensive. Very technical. Kamara, no stranger to fighting Romanians. He said he's fought Time. them Fight. many times, amateur and pro. Nice slip and rips from Gafenko. Who would you say is your most favorite French kickboxer of all time? Oh, uh, honestly, probably Cedric Dumbé. Seeing how good he did and dominated that welterweight division. He's up there for sure. Jerome LeBanner is up there as well. Good left on the inside from Gafinku. He wants knockouts. And he's got good pressure fighting style too. The way he sits in, great counters as well. Every time Kamara kicks, he's got a, an overhand right or a left hook ready to go. Nice upstairs, downstairs work with his hands. Great start from him so far. Trying for that high kick. Ooh, nice angle out. Kamara waiting a little too long to attack. Ooh. 
Finko looking for a way in. You can see he's fainting, just trying to get between that guard and that right hand nearly did it. His counters are great. He's just getting his head off line and ripping good counters. See, it? he just waits for you to counter every time. Look, he touches you, touches you. Even if Kamara attacks, he'll come right back. And look at that guard Oy. manipulation as he pulled the hands down to land the right hand. Great opening round for Edward Gafenku. Yeah, very technical, smart boxer. Not loading up on every punch. Here we have Jackili Kamara representing France. Signature strikes his knees. I'm surprised. If you watch his highlights, that scissor knee comes up in the middle very quick and fast. So for me, he's got to be a little bit more offensive now as the fight goes on. In Edward Gafenko's corner, his father is always there. We asked him how he felt about it. He said, I hate it. I don't want to be in the corner. I don't like seeing him get hit. I don't want to be there. I want to be sitting at home watching him. But Edward says, no, Pops, if you're not there, I'm not fighting. So, so neither one of them are happy with this situation, but that's the way it's got to go. Yeah, difference in personality. The father's so social where Gafenko just sat there and looked mean and smiled. Yeah, the dad does the talking. The son does the punching. Yeah, but Gafenko. Great job in this first round. Slipping, ripping, getting his head off line. Great counters. And a beautiful scissor knee to end that first round. So Kamara's probably hoping, he's probably hoping that Gafenko used a lot of energy in that first round. Yeah, that could have been his strategy because already now he's a little bit more aggressive or his corner maybe lit a fire, but Kamara needs to do something. He needs to fight back. First round sweep for Gafenko. Yeah, look at that head movement. He just angled out on the outside. There we go. A little Lomachenko in that footwork. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, a little angled shuffle. I like those light touches on the guard. Touch, 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 and then boom, he rips that body very tough. Upstairs goes Gafenko, and he is just bullying Kamara right now, who just can't find a way out. Yeah, I think Gafenko's boxing is just too slick right now. Powerful, sharp, good angles. And even when he counters, he takes an angle before he counters. Just sharp footwork. 12 knockouts in his 17 wins for Gafenko. And look at the distribution. 51 punches have landed, only seven for Kamara. Yep, Gafenko's being first and last. See, eventually you're going to start countering those. Yeah, he doesn't let you get off. Kamara better with his angle. Here's those knees. He walked right into a right hand. But Ooh. now he's going to try and press. Nice uppercuts, head kicks, and finally Kamara waking up a little bit. Now we got ourselves a fight. That was a nice little sequence there from Kamara with some good stance switching, mixing his stances, getting to the back leg of Gafenko. Body shot on the inside. Freak. Kamara. You could tell Gafenko did not like walking backwards, did he? No, I mean, when you move backwards, that's when Kamara picks it up. Oh, nice angle out. There's that knee. It connected right on the chin. You could see Gafenko biting down on his mouthpiece. Yeah, it only takes one of those knees. Here comes Kamara. The body's hurt of Gafenko. Oh, and, knee, and he's going to go down. What a turn of events Two. here in the Netherlands. Three. He must Four, have found the body. Gafenko put his hands down. Six, Kamara found that knee to seven, the face. Eight, he may not turn nine, around, Joe. Um, it's over. Do you believe this? Kamara, who was completely dominated from the opening bell, turns things around and stops Edward Gafenko. Gafenko got a little too confident with his hands in his boxing. And then Kamara reminded him, hey, I got my knees. That's what I'm known for. And then he was able to find that finish. A lot of relief there because it wasn't looking great for him, but that's good experience there from Kamara. Wow. Joe, that must have been some body shot because Gafenko is a tough customer. Yeah, it must have been. Oh, a little knee up there. Let's see what it actually stemmed from. Oh, is that scissor knee to the body? Let's see if he slows down from here. Yeah, oh, a second body kick probably just added up to it. And then he was able to just mix and his combinations. Kick. The front kick, too, was an accumulation of body shots that slowly put Gafenko leaning forward. And then all of a sudden, he put the nice left hand. Oh, oh that knee, my word, on the temple. Especially as he was dipping, he did a beautiful oh. gallop step to be able to connect with that knee. 
Man, what a finisher. Those knees are something else from Kamara. Ale la blue, France stepping up in our second fight of the night. What a win for Kamara. We make it official next. We are back in the Rotterdam, and what an exciting finish to this contest. Yeah, and in the beginning part of this fight, Gafenko looked incredible. Good boxing, very technical, really showed his his high-level footwork, his ability to touch and mix rips, but Kamara started to pick things up, started attacking the body. Once he got aggressive, you've seen the damage he can do, the way he mixes that body, then into that knee to the head. Just a fun fighter to watch, and we warned you about his knees. He oh. kind of kept them hidden until that second round, and then he just found them with great success. How he didn't go down to the canvas after that knee, I'll never know. Here are the final strike count statistics. And you can see Kamara with those kicks. They started adding up and adding up. And don't forget about those knees, especially the last one. Wow. When you're looking at the zone, it's Gafenko really head punching a lot. Maybe a few rips to the body, but it was more Kamara mixing up his attack, attacking the legs. And then at the end of the day, all that mattered was that big punch that led to the knees. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This fight comes to an end with an official time of 2 minutes, 24 seconds of that second round and ends by technical knockout. For your winner, Jagili Kamara. So Jagili Kamara wins his glory debut. Joe, <laughs> What would you, how would you describe that performance? I mean, very patient at first, but spectacular at the end of the day. But even in our pre-fight interview, I asked him, was like, you've seen the welterweight division, where do you fit in? He goes, I'm easily in the top five. He feels he's really can ready to hang with the guys like Overmere and Semelier. So he feels he's ready. Let's see how fast he can move.